Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dreadx Collection. Yeah, it's officially out now, so if you click the link down in the description, you can buy it yourself. Uh, $2 from every purchase goes to Doctors Without Borders. Yeah, so it's horror gaming for a good cause. Uh, so we've played through David's, Airdwarfs, and Torpal Dukes. I think I'm going to play a dev that I don't know. Like, the pay is nice, or Mr. Bucket told me to. I think I'm gonna do Mr. Bucket told me to because that looks cute and funny. Uh, let's see. Strange Scaffold. Uh, the abandoned tools of your existence come back to haunt you in a surreal, surreal and terrifying tropical survival adventure. Uh, press escape in the game to the controls. Thirst, hunger, and cleanliness go down at the start of each day. Drink, eat, and wipe your butt to survive. Yes, thank God, somebody's finally addressed the pooping situation and all the horror, or not horror, the survival games I've been playing. Uh, the day will end if you run out of stamina. Or if your ass get too dirty. Despite the very reasonable assumption that reality television is all faked, it was by complete accident that the crew of Trailblazers American Heartland stumbled upon the makeshift hovel of Ira Nelson. The seven years following his disappearance had seen his name transition from pressing concern to local tragic memory. Despite Ira and the crew's mutual shock, he was far from the antisocial, uncommunicative wild man you might expect. He eagerly showed them his home and collection of makeshift tools. Each had been constructed out of the wreckage of his craft, uniquely named given a crude likeness, and positioned to serve both a functional and decorative role. Mike the Bucket was also <laughs> the town's firefighter. Maurice the Knife, constructed out of bits of metal wrapped in the remains of shoes, was a police officer. Though initially oh, I get it. eager to return to the so civilized world, fires and Ira once again people. receded from the public eye after just a few weeks. When the camera crew tried to contact Ira about a follow-up series, they found him nearly dead of an attempted suicide. When doctors would later oh. ask him why he had done it, he stated that he, quote, abandoned his friends, end quote. When they asked if he was aware that he was just painting faces on garbage, his only answer was, quote, at least their faces didn't keep changing, end quote. Oh, so it's like if Wilson from Castaway started like haunting Tom Hanks's character after he got lost at sea. Okay, cool. Let's do this one. Yeah. I'll do uh, 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 this one next time. Loop. Hi. I'm assuming that's Mr. Bucket. <laughs> what a cutie. Let's do it. Oh, how lovely! It, it, literally, it really is like a survival game that I would play. Okay. Uh, not tired. Okay, so down there we have food, water, health. Is that poop? I think that's poop. And then stamina, it looks like. These are my friends. Mr. Bull. Hiya, Mr. Bull. Wonderful weather we're having. That's true, the sun is very bright today. Oh, sure. You know I love your jokes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, Mr. Bull. What do you get when, when a horse, a dog, and a... black guy walk into a bar? I'm not sure I appreciate how your sense of humor is evolving, Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull's got the edgelord humor. <laughs> well, come on. Today, we've got an oasis to plunder, under that big tree on the west end of the island. Hey, Oh, cute. I love anything that has, like, a face drawn on it. Mr. Spear! Looking sharp today. You like it? I'm glad to hear that. I came up with it whenever I was showering yesterday, actually. Well, I don't shave either, and I think I'm holding up well, don't you? That's very- that's a very kind offer. I like my beard. Said why. <laughs> but I'll genuinely consider it. Uh, catch some fish? Well, sure. Ready when you are. Here, maybe let me move my face cam. Uh, face cam. Transform. Hi, I haven't done this in a while. How y'all doing? Whee! 
There we go. Uh, bloop. Oh, and he has a cute little stab animation. Hi, Mr. Towel. Uh, I'm afraid I once again require your services, Mr. Towel. Well, a man does have to... Poop. Ha! Good one. I really appreciate it, Mr. Towel. Seriously. Why not on the towel? I just realized why he's gonna do... I know, I know. I'm gonna make sure... I'm gonna make sure you have a day off soon. I promise. I'm not actually sure how taking turns would work. I'll think about it. Bro, not on the towel. <laughs> Come on, man. Your leaves right there. Or just like, go wash your butt in the ocean. You nasty. Carrying around a fucking shit rag and calling me your friend. Let's see, how do I how do I change? Oh, ew, I think it was white myself. Uh oh there we go, Q. Uh oh, and E does it too, okay. Mr. Bull. Okay, so that's how I get water. That's how I stab. Okay. So it's that I have a big thing to plunder under the big tree. And we're thirsty. And we're hungry. So let's hear. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, I do have stamina. And a little baby jump. Oh, these are fish! Yeah. Ow. Cute. Oh, wow. That filled my guts up immediately. So wait, do I just poop? That hurt my stamina. Why did pooping... Why did wiping hurt my stamina? Usually, pooping makes me feel good. <laughs> pooping makes me feel good. Pooping, 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 pooping. Let's go check out this giant tree. Oh, hey, there's a barrel. I guess I get so distracted in survival games. I instantly just start like, ooh, what's this? Ooh. Uh. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, here's the oasis. Wait, um, F is throw item. My click is use item. Okay. Okay, good. There's not like a specific button to poop. Poop. Crack a coconut. Uh, did I, oh, did I turn it into a makeshift bowl? Um, there we go. Let's get some more. Delicious. Okay. So, do I hold? How do I poop? Maybe I need to be full, like totally full. I guess we get some more fish. This, this is so cute. I'm waiting for like the horror element to kick in, but I know it's gonna happen. I think it's passed out in the water. Oh, I sure did. Okay. Uh, did I do a bad? I think I did a bad. Oh, there's another fire over there. Yeah, I was trying to eat some more fish, so I was thinking maybe like... If I filled up my poop meter, then I could poop. I don't know why I'm obsessed about obsessed with pooping. The music got really fucking spooky, too. Like, I got so used to that, like, jolly, like, shanty island music. And now it's, like, kind of fucked up. Does sprinting drain my stamina? I don't think so. Okay. That's a big-ass bonfire, too. Oh shit, it's Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bu Mr. Bucket. Do 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 do. Wasn't that a, a kid's game? Oh shit, he's talking to me. 
Uh, here we are again. Fire and water and night. There was a time when you'd use me to put out these flames. Then you killed me. Weird how that works, huh? What are you talking about? You're a bucket. You can't talk. But you died. Yes, you killed me. And I hate you. That's how it works. You're going to sacrifice something tonight, Michael. You're going to throw one of your friends into the flames, or you're going to die. Can I do something else? You can always go to sleep. You won't wake up again, but you're certainly welcome to do it. Take as much time as you need. Someone's going to die tonight. I don't mind waiting. So, Michael. My name's Mike. So, is this another, like, hello, Mr. Quaven? Oh. Hi, Mr. Bucket. Hello again. I think you know what happened. Instead of making a decision, you chose to die. We're very different people, Michael. Unlike you, I keep my promises. Oh, I guess he killed me. Okay. Neat. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to actually, like, kill Marshall. I mean, you know. I mean to... Oh, where did my face cam go? I was moving it, and then the game loaded. Oh no, where am I? Guys, where'd I go? Oh no! Uh, there we are. Hi, I'm back. Let me actually make me smaller. Right there. Cool. So yeah, I didn't mean to... I, I didn't know that I had my items on me. I thought that I had to go back and get them. Now we got the, the death ending. So that's cool. So here, let's go... Oh man, I fucking wiped myself again. I ain't me to do that. Let's go get some fish. I'm gonna fill up my water and eat meter. So I really wanna... I wanna poop. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with pooping. But I gotta do it. Ooh, if I have to sacrifice one of my friends, I wonder who I'm gonna sacrifice. Uh. Yum yum. Uh... Yum. Yeah, now I got a full pooper. <laughs> so what, like, seriously, what happens if I... My poop meter doesn't go down! I need to, like, over and, like, over... <laughs> Overstuff myself or something? What, what's happening? Why can't I poop? Am I constipated? But I had too much cheese. Actually, cheese and dairy. I don't know why I'm getting into this. This is going to be a very sc scatological video. <laughs> uh, I'm actually like very lactose intolerant, but oh boy, oh boy, do I love dairy. Oh boy, do I love it. Not milk, but like cheese and shit. What are you? Hi. Uh... What, what is you? Hello? Okay, whatever. Um, here, let's get water. Uh, drink, please. There we go. Okay. Oh, that must be like my the wing of the plane that I crashed here on. That's funny. So I guess now that I'm full of everything, let's try pooping. No, no. 
No, shit. Got coconut. Give me the coconut. Uh, F this coconut. F this coconut. Let's see. Let me try pooping again. Nope. Okay. Uh, here, let me go pass out really quick. Because my energy is, like, completely empty. So maybe if I go to sleep, I can activate the next thing. Last time I passed out in the water. So hopefully that won't happen again. I think I'm going to... I think... Whenever I have to sacrifice something, I'm going to get rid of the poop rag first. Because... They're shit at their job. <laughs> I got a butthole full of food. I can't seem to get rid of it. That's so gross. I am so sorry. <laughs> Let's cut to something else. Hey. Goodbye, Mr. Towel. Uh, where did Mr. Bucket go? I could have gotten rid of Mr. Bowl because I could make I could have cracked coconuts, drink water. But now what if I have no way to poop? Uh oh. I want to be constipado. Oh no! Is that like a little gravesite for him? Hi, intense night, huh? That's so. I understand. I don't feel much like joking either. Mr. Bucket broke. I I couldn't... I'll keep you safe, Mr. Bull. Trust me. This is all a big mis misunderstanding. Trust me. We're going to get through this. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, let's get some water, buddy. Bro, you need to take a dump. Yeah, it's okay. We're both alive, Mr. Spear. We're okay. Well, it's going to be hard, but we made, made it through worse, right? No, I don't think we have a... I had to fight a... Wait. No, I don't think I've had to fight a ghost before. No, I don't think you've had to fight a ghost before. Well, fish, and we'll... Well, we'll survive. We always do. Not without a fight, Mr. Spear. Oh, uh, R.A.P., buddy. Where the fuck do I poop? Yeah, let's get to that. Let me figure out how to poop. Not tired. Is there like a... Like, is there like a latrine that I've dug or something? I guess it doesn't matter. Um, hi. I guess I just need to eat and fish. Or I guess eating is fishing. I need to eat and drink. And then Mr. Buck will come back and make me sacrifice one of my friends again. Yeah, so let's grab a let's grab a fish. Yonk. Oh. Now every time that I'm full, my butt is gonna yell at me and I'm gonna lose HP. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I didn't prioritize my my colon needs. Damn it. Hello. Hey, a toilet! Mr. Relieve Yourself! Ew. Hi, Mr. Bucket. Did you watch me take a dump? In the Mr. Relieve Yourself? Go, you nasty. You gotta pay for that. On well, my OnlyFans page. <laughs> Just kidding, that's gross. Let's go ahead and... Huh. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Dope! My health is all the way empty. Is it because I didn't wipe afterwards? Uh... Why was... Mr. Relieve Yourself. So gross. 
Yeah, seriously, seriously wouldn't you like right over here? Oh, there, oh, there's a chair here now. Hello. Mr. Chair. You cut up a lot of us in the early days. Did you make it through all right? Was it worth it? Are you okay? Mr. Bucket came back. He wants to hurt me. I don't know if I've ever been okay, Mr. Chair. At least you know that about yourself. For what it's worth, I'm not angry that you chopped me and my friends into pieces. I do have one question, though. If you're going to use me for firewood, why did you draw, why did you draw a face on me? That is true. Sorry, my face came in the way again. Sorry. I was lonely. I wanted to say sorry first. I wanted to be had I wanted to have consistent branding standards. I was lonely. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Bye, Michael. I don't think we'll see each other again. Goodbye, Mr. Chair. Uh fuck you. So he's feeling guilty. So I guess he broke Mr. Bucket and feels bad. He had to use all the furniture that he had to make firewood. So I guess he feels bad again. I guess Tom Hanks would feel bad if he had to use Wilson <laughs> for anything. So can, can I can I force myself to go to sleep or do I have to explore more? Where's my pillow? Where's Mr. Pillow? Sleep. I go I go seep. Oh. So I think I'm going to get rid of Mr. Bull tonight, since I can crack open the coconuts to make water. Yeah, I think it's my plan. I'm thinking, like, should I have gotten rid of Mr. Bull first? Like, I don't know how important white my ass is compared to having a bowl for drinking. Hello. Another night. Another sacrifice. Do you miss any of them yet? Go frick yourself? Aw, I'll survive. I do. I miss them all the time. But they're just the new crop, aren't they? You've been making your little sentient sacrifices for years. You're just a you're just too much of a coward to admit it. Two friends left. Throw one in the flames and live another day. It's simple, just the way you like it. Okay. Gladly, bye, Mr. Bull. I never liked you anyways. <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, well that's a big question. Bad things happen to good people and inanimate objects all the time. Yeah, that's how the world works. Oh, Mr. Spear's sad about his friends being dead. We just don't see it because it's better not to look. I know you can't look away, Mr. Spear. I didn't draw you with eyelids. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's morbid. So like Mr. Spear was sitting there just watching his friends be thrown in the fire and he can't look away since he has no eyelids. He has no mouth and he must scream. I love the soundtrack to this as well. And also I like the, uh, ooh, the bonfire is still over there too. Huh. Huh. Yum. My butthole's full. So I'm gonna go find Mr. Relieve Yourself. And take a righteous shit. Although I do kinda... Let's check out... What's this bonfire? Why is it still here? Usually, in the day, it's not here.
Hello? Okay. Those look like bushes. Alright. Is this a barrel? Barrel! Oh, hey. There you are. Okay, let's get a coconut. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. That sucks. I can't crack it because I don't have enough ener energy. Is that a jukebox? It's Mr. Jukebox. Mr. Boombox, excuse me. Uh, single song ass motherfucker. Your words, not mine. Does he have a gun? But look, I've got a gun now. You ungrateful son of a bitch. You kept living on a prayer. Because it's a great song, Michael. You know what? You aren't worth the, the bullet. Jesus. I'll see you in hell, you Bon Jovi hating piece of shit. That is so good. That is so good. That's so funny. Let's see, is there anything else out here? Maybe I just need to run around until I pass out or something. Because, like, I can't get water. Because I'm out of energy to crack the coconuts. Maybe today will just be about getting food, and tomorrow I'll get water. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm probably gonna die. Hey. No? Okay. Fucking Mr. Boombox pulled a gun on me. Never thought I'd have a gun pulled on me by a boombox before. That's genius. <laughs> There's another toilet. That's good. There's multiple toilets. Lots of places to <laughs> dump yourself out at. Gross. Alright, let's cut to something. Hey, so I have like no life left. I'm about to throw my last friend into the fire. Sorry, Mr. Spear. Ah, oh, fuck, that means I can't get water tomorrow. That's right. You know how this works, only one friend left. Take me instead. Excuse me? You can take me instead. Just let him go. No. No, 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 no. You aren't doing this. You will not pull some noble bullshit in the face of your own in your in the face of your own judgment. You're here now because of everything that uh, you are and were. You're a selfish, oblivious mess, taking to debris at the end of the world to convince yourself that someone can love you. I hope you remember that when you send your final wait. I hope you remember that when you send your final friend to hell. Okay. Yeet. I ain't got no friends. Just be myself and I, baby. <laughs> so now that I have no tools. How can I even try to survive? Should I go to sleep? Oh shit, yeah. Nope, never mind. Bucket. Here you are, dead. You ran and ran and ran until you didn't have anything left. I wonder what I wonder what will feed on your legs. Don't you? Dope. So I, I bet there's like different endings and shit, but. I'm gonna stop it on that one. I like this game a lot. That's really cute. I, I like this game a lot. 
the the boombox pulling a gun on me sent me. Like I that that's like everything I needed for today. That's so good. I like that. Everything in this game, everything in this collection has been so good. <laughs> so good. All right, if you want to play it yourself, links in the description. Uh, remember, every two dollar or yeah, two dollars from every sale goes to Doctors Without Borders. Um, yeah, we're gonna be playing more of these very soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Ow! I smacked my wrist on my desk when I was waving by. <laughs> Ow! Ow! My wimp wrist. Ow! <laughs>